Hello viewers, uh, welcome to K-Diagnostics, Dio here. Today I'm going to show you how to solder two electrical wires together. Knowing how to solder is a good skill to have if you do a lot of electrical and electronic work. Soldering is, I think, the best way to fix a broken wire. Before you start soldering, make sure you wear your safety glasses. Connect your soldering iron to a power outlet for 5 to 10 minutes. And you also want to make sure that you are doing your soldering in a well ventilated area because as your solder touches the soldering iron, it's going to be producing some smoke and you don't want to inhale that smoke because it's not good for your health. I have a tool here that I made. Some people call it helping hands. I don't know how I'm gonna call mine. Uh, I made it with two alligator clamps and a mechanical wire. So this is gonna help us hold our wire down as we are soldering. I have some soldering paste flux here. I like using this paste because it protects the wire against oxidation. And it also helps melt the solder into the wire strands pretty easily. This is the type of solder we're going to use today. We are using the Rosin Core. I like it because it has a low melting point and it also protects the wire against oxidation. There are many types of solders out there, so make sure you pick the right type of solder for the job you're going to be doing. So for this job, um, I chose this Rosin Core because the Rosin Core works pretty well in wires that are used on cars. I'm gonna be using a wire stripper and this cigarette lighter to shrink our heat shrink tube once we're done soldering. So now let's strip the insulation from our wire. So I want to point out that when, as you're stripping the insulation from the wire, do not strip out some wire strands. Just make sure you're only stripping out the insulation. So now we got one end of the wire stripped out. We're going to do the same thing on the other wire. So we got one end on each wire stripped out so now we can join our wires together there are a couple methods of joining two wires together you can either spread the wire strands and mesh them together or you can just put the wires you can put the wires on top of each other kind of like this and then twist them together so I'm going to demonstrate this method first. And there is our two wires twisted together. So now I'm going to sit the wires on the tool here. I mean, you can protect these alligator clamps so that they don't pierce the wire, but I don't think they will because they're not, you know, putting too much pressure on the wire so now we are ready to solder we're gonna apply a little bit of flux paste on the area we're gonna be soldering you don't want to put too much a little bit is enough and now we're gonna bring our soldering iron in the picture sometimes I see people trying to solder a wire like this so they will put a soldering iron on top of the wire and then they will try to solder it like this so don't do that that's the wrong way of doing it so what you want to do is you want to coat the tip of your soldering iron with some solder and then put your soldering iron below the wire so you have to put it like this 
and that little solder you're putting on the tip of the wire is helping transfer the heat to the wire so it's helping heat the wire faster after the wire is hot what you're gonna do is you're just gonna attach your solder across the area that you're gonna be soldering and as you guys can see my solder is melting into the wire strands and this paste actually this paste helps melt the solder into the wire strands pretty well so you just want to apply a little you just want to apply a little bit not too much and you want to stop after you cannot see any copper wire sticking out so I no longer see any copper wire sticking out now my wire is repaired as you guys can tell this is a good repair and I'm trying to pull both wires here and I mean it's a it's a single wire now it's no longer two wires and now I can't separate them anymore so the next step is getting our heat shrink tube but before I slide the heat shrink tube over this section here I like applying some dielectric grease on this area so what this dielectric grease does it, it makes this area we just uh, soldered waterproof so it helps with water intrusion and this is the right type of tube for our wire and we're gonna slide it over that soldered section now we can shrink our heat shrink tube and as you guys can see it's one single wire now and this is fixed guys waterproof fixed electrical wire so I'm gonna show you the other method really quickly here so the other method you wanna spread the wire strands kinda like that and then mesh them together right there now let's sit our wire on the tool we're gonna do the same process again apply a little bit of paste let's bring in our soldering iron in the picture do not do this that's not the right way of doing it don't do this put your soldering iron under the wire do it like this So I'm just putting a little bit of solder here on the tip to help transfer the heat to the wire. Now I'm gonna wait a couple seconds and once I start to touch this section here, I'm just touching it and as you guys can see our solder is melting into the wire strand so it's floating it's got to flow through the wire strands. Okay, so, and then you just stop until you no longer see any copper wires sticking out. There, guys. There is... A fixed 
that is a fixed wire. Now we're gonna apply a little bit of dielectric grease on there and get our shrink tube. You wanna get a heat shrink tube that goes just slightly over your wire because if you pick a bigger heat shrink tube it's not gonna seal against the wire properly and there guys here is our other fixed wires so as you guys can see this is one single wire now So I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumb down. But if you do, you gotta tell me why so we can put out better videos in the future. Subscribe to my channel, K Diagnostics. Don't forget to ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. So if this is a little difficult for you to do, I recommend practicing. The more you do this, the more you practice, the better you get at it, just like everything. Practice, practice, practice. If you practice soldering, you will be good at soldering. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.